Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's video, I will explain you how you can install Superset on Windows 10. I hope you already would have tried it and you would, must be facing some errors. So I will just tell you how you can install it in Windows 10 very easily without any issue. So the first thing is you need to enable the Linux subsystem. I hope all of you know, but if you doesn't know, uh, Windows do provide an you can say as uh, you can say Linux subsystem where you can run Linux commands and you can say it, it's a like like Linux console. So first you have to go into the program files, go into the turn on, uh, Windows feature on and or, on or off, and at the bottom you will see Linux subsystem. Give me a second. So here is a Windows subsystem for Linux. You just need to enable it and just press okay it will take a couple of minutes or maybe five minutes and it will enable once it is enabled then you have to go to the microsoft uh, so store and you have to search for the ubuntu so ubuntu once you do so you just have to on the store it's free it's free version you can just download it so you just have to install it so by default i have already installed it and you just need to launch it so this is very simple steps but now the real uh, deal comes even if after this uh, so this is the ubuntu so once it is installed you just need to type ubuntu and just open it and it will be just like a linux console what we have like it's like a bash what we have linux root whatever we need so it's exactly the linux now still even if you uh, get this enabled uh, still you will be having issues and the reason for that is even though it's a linux subsystem but still Python used your Windows build tools to build its uh, wheel files. Wheel files are nothing but the binary files. So to do that, you either need to install a latest version of Visual Studios or you just need to go to this link and you just need to install the Windows 10 SDK. Install it and believe me, you will not have any trouble in installing it. So let us just start now and I hope you have done all these things. Enable Linux subsystem, install Ubuntu core and then you need to install this Windows 10 SDK. Once this is done, it's a cakewalk. Let me just show you. So I'm already running this. You can see here super set on that. So okay, let me just show you. So let us go ls. And what we have to do is you just need to follow the commands. You can follow these commands from the website installation and configuration, or you can follow the one which I have published. They are exactly the same, just little bit. Uh, you can say here and there I have changed a uh, few commands. So first you need to create the. Uh, you can say uh, virtual environment. For that you need to install pip install virtual env. So if you don't have virtual env, so you, this will work. I already have virtual env installed, so I don't want it. Then once it is done, I will just copy this command. Here you can mention, you can say superset data, let's say. So I'm just creating a new virtual environment. It will take some time. So these commands will take time because as virtual environment you are creating in Python. So the people who doesn't know what is virtual environment. So either <clears throat> you install each and everything globally on the Python level or you create a virtual environment and install everything into it. So once you do that, so virtual environment becomes a complete solution within itself. So everything will be installed within that folder. To activate that, what you have to do is you have to type dot slash bin slash activate. So once you do that, you will be in the, uh, you can say your virtual environment. So if you do, it will be exactly, you can say what you use, uh, just here, you just you will see your virtual environment name. So everything seems right, uh, like similar. But if you go into the superset data folder, you can see there is like lib include binary. So everything is a, you can say separate. So everything will be installed locally within this virtual environment. Once this is done, uh, run this pip install upgrade setup. So this, even if you have already done in other virtual environment or you can say on the Python level, still you need to run this command. It might again take some couple of minutes. Let it take, let it complete that. So as now this has got installed, now we just, we are ready to install Apache superset. Just copy this command, paste it again, wait for some minutes. Now it will be more than a couple of minutes. It might take you guys five, six, seven minutes. Now in between, it can also ask you whether you allow, you need to allow uh, your, you can say subsystem to create files and take the disk space and not. Uh, so it might take some time, just wait for it. Let me pause the recording. Now, uh, I think now you all, it would have taken more than five, 10 minutes. I know it might take in 15 minutes sometimes, depending on your internet speed. And now I hope it would have installed everything successfully without any issue. If still you are getting an issue, 
what do one thing ensure like you have installed this window 10 SDK if uh, and if you have installed the version should be the latest one that's all you need to ensure once this is done just follow this again the simple command now the setup will be like you can say not a big one it will be a small setup let's say so you just need to just add this one so it will again take some not even a couple of minutes it's like a small thing uh, but still let me just uh, pause the video in the meantime it get complete just don't worry it will be completed in time yeah it's got completed now again you just need to copy this command so once this is done just say create super admin it will ask you to create some user so that you can create a user you can say name uh, like the default username password you need to set up so you can say admin and admin is the first name admin is the last name and email a at a.com and the password should be abc at the one two three i will just say abc at the one two three so keep a better password but as it's a local recognize already exists okay might be the other one which i already have let us just create a new user because i have already one superset running so i'll say admin one admin one admin one a at admin admin not i'm just making sure it should not exist abc address one two three four abc address one two three four yeah everything is created now just run this superset load example so it might take some time to load the examples um, examples will have will give you a, a quick quick start to see what kind of dashboard you can create so it will not take that much time it will be just now everything is like a couple of minutes not more than that now just say superset initialize this might take some time because it initializes the database so in the local uh, you can say sql uh, light it creates your username and password and do everything you need to for your initial setup now we are almost done yeah now you are done just run your superset enjoy it just change the port uh, i have already used this port so i will just say 8089 because i have two super set running one is here already and one more i'm running let it take now if i just go here and i can just say paste your super set is up and ready you are logged in and also you can see your dashboards whatever dashboards you want to see the basic example is like duty and okay this might be from the other side but here you can go for world bank data and all so these are the common examples so i hope this video will help you if you still face any issue just let me know i will help you out i don't think so if you just go through this prerequisite you will have an issue but still if there is any issue please let me know thank you have a good day bye bye